Fuck it. I had the worst diarrhea today. I had <laughs> diarrhea today too. <laughs> Why are we talking about this? You know alcohol gives you diarrhea. I know. <laughs> I love diarrhea. What? <laughs> Said no one now, ever. This is now a, uh, a dietary <laughs> experience for us all. So let's, uh, this is a digestive yeah, yeah, experience. Been up for a while, they'd, exactly. they'd probably be like a blessing. No, no, I, I usually like diarrhea. <laughs> you, oh my gosh! I, I have food coming. I'll stop when the food comes. I'll stop when the food comes. <laughs> Okay, welcome back to our second attempt at... Dungeon... Oh, no, no. At Spyro. Yeah, oh. Spyro. This <laughs> isn't Dungeons and Drinks. What? <laughs> yeah. He's in a dungeon. We're imposters. We're not really them. We took over what? the channel. Are those um, fireworks? Yes, they are. Nice. We're celebrating Dungeons and Drinks. And Completion of hurt. our first <laughs> series ever. He's a Chinese dragon. Being so. Pepsi Man. As of today, Pepsi Man has finished uh, airing online. Hmm. That's still my favorite game. At time of recording. I know, I honestly, I would play Pepsi Man again. It would, I would let someone else play Pepsi Man. I wouldn't want to watch somebody else go through that shit. I did. I would be frustrated. I'd be like, give me the fucking controller. Let me show you how to do Pepsi Man. It's like a horror game to me. I suck at Spyro. Mm. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, I mean, uh... <laughs> you can do it. I believe Any you. secrets back here? Nope, just death. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say. Uh, I Just more death than I need There's right a now. Secret. If you fall off the ledge, you lose a life. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. There's a message saying, try jumping. <laughs> oh, yeah, like in Dark Souls. Yeah. I always thought that shit was hilarious. Thrust. A hole. <laughs> <laughs> it's like everywhere, that thing. Here you are, blow hard. Oh, shit. He's he blowed hard. you hard. Yeah. He really did blow me quite hard. Well, blowed isn't a word, but I, you know, he blew you hard. <laughs> oh. I mean, what? There we go. It's that was a good catch. It's the Skittles. Yeah, when we did this episode yesterday, I didn't catch that. I just fell straight in. <laughs> <laughs> Skittles uh -oh. Yeah. Like that. Oh, not like that. Good that job. was a good catch. Mm-hmm. Not playing baseball. You are just going balls deep. You are not even worrying about angle yeah, camera. No. <laughs> going wrong with pain. You missing chess. Yeah, I did. Get those chests. And a dragon. It's like a jade. Looks like a what? Jade. It's a crystal. Jade. Yeah, it's like jade. What? Altair. Altair. Yeah. What a very draconic name. Mm -hmm. Now, if you excuse me, I need to assassinate some people. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, shit on my ass. Dang. Oh. So have you guys heard of this new uh, Elf on a Shelf meme that came out? No. So like people are putting um it's like a meme they so they put two things that rhyme together and they put it on a picture so like fuck sorry damn you are dot this <laughs> do you want me to, do you want me to wait and like let you get no no I concentrate better when I'm listening to stories so, go on so like they've got a oh that's closed good job you should drink that I will um <laughs> oh no come on <laughs> uh you should uh yes yeah. so anyways stop. uh they got like Sh Shrek on a deck so Shrek on a deck they got the rock on a clock. Oh my god. Luigi on a squeegee. <laughs> I like that. Uh, you remember that little kid show, Caillou? Uh, Caillou? Caillou, yeah. Caillou on a bayou. <laughs> hey, it's that, Caillou. Uh, That's not... That's Franklin. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what was the other... Uh... Oh, Bart on a cart. Oh my god. So... It's just It's random. just... The picture is just like Photoshop. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. It's basically just, yeah, Photoshop. Exactly. Like, the rock on a clock is like the rock's head. In the, the rock on a clock. clock. I think that'd be a lot funnier. One time I photoshopped Ginko's head on an ostrich. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember uh, that. Bloody. The oh. fuck? Blow hard. Try harder. Blow harder. You try hard. There you go. There you, go. you try hard. Try hard. Die hard. Die hard. I'll Fly. die harder than you. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, is that a secret? Or is that just the beginning? That's, That's the, the beginning. beginning. There's less secrets in the first Spyro. Oh, Link in the Sink. That was another one. Link yep. in the Sink. Link in the Link on the Sink. Yep, that's it. Pulling them up right now. That <laughs> Bowser on a browser. Oh, I like that. I like that. Mario on Warrior. Oh, Bowser Donkey and trousers. Donkey Kong on a bomb. <laughs> 
And then the classic cat on a hat, or hat on a cat, hat on a cat. So. That's really great. Yeah. I don't know what this one is. I don't know who he is. Toad on a road. Oh, Toad on a road. (laughs) (laughs) Whoa. So I think I finished this whole place except for a couple gems that I missed, but I'm not going to fret about those right now. Um... You gonna jump in that guy's sack? You have some very explicit questions tonight. Yeah. <laughs> you go. Get, let me get in your balloon basket. Uh oh. He's not. He's covering his face. He's got a mask on. Are you sure? Is he coming in there with you? <laughs> I mean, all right, cool. He's just like. I'm apparently go. trained in flying uh, balloons. He just gives a cab fare and he's like. Oh. <laughs> and that's literally just a balloon. It's not even a hot air balloon. There's nothing to support that. It's just a big ball of air. Just. Apparently, That's true. Uh, no, apparently, no. it can have direction in. This Japanese people, yeah. It's like the Hindu. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think it's yellow and red? <laughs> so we were talking last episode, well, not last episode, but last night when we were on this episode about how in the music it sounds like dusk. It does. It sounds like his laugh when he's really drunk. It really does. He, he g- gets the pegasus. <laughs> I guess it won't be as funny because you guys haven't heard it, but... I don't remember hearing it. You do. I swear to you, you do this. I don't remember doing that. That noise. So... Bruno! He's gay. I have a funny conversation topic I thought of the other day that might be interesting for us to chat about. No. Um, I like asking people what their biggest fear is, but not... Not like something normal, like, oh, I'm afraid of the dark. What, what's, so, hang on, let me rephrase this. Not your biggest fear, but your biggest irrational fear. I don't know what that means. Like, like when you know that you're afraid of something, even though it doesn't make any fucking sense. I'll tell you what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid that I'll be in, like, a bathroom stall where there's other stalls, and I'm taking a mega shit, and, <laughs> and the cleaning people come in, uh, and they don't know I'm in there, uh, and I'm just mega shitting. I feel like that's <laughs> still sort of rational. Have you ever, um, have you guys ever watched any show like The Strain, where it's kind of like an infectious kind of, or like, uh, well, I don't know if you've watched that, but I'm, I'm my irrational fear is that, like, uh, an insect or a bug is going to crawl into my ear or something <gasps> while I'm sleeping. Oh, yeah, okay. That used, like, that used that's to be my just, really? Fucking happened to me once. Ooh. No! Oh God! No longer irrational. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was thinking over of at it. My friend's house, and I was like sleeping on the floor, and I wake up at six in the morning, and like my ears itching. I'm like, all right, that's weird. And, like, <laughs> I go to itch it, and something's crawling around in there. Oh, oh my God! Did you so get I'm it like, out? Okay, this isn't good. So I got into a full blown panic. I'm like, I need to find like some pliers or some tweezers or some, some shit. Yeah, pliers. fuck that. <laughs> Couldn't find it. I was like fucking like yanking on my ear for like two and a half hours. Shit. I finally got the thing out and I, you know, I killed, I killed the fuck of out of it. Of course, like, yeah, no, absolutely. That's what you get. <laughs> right, right. Oh you went to the wrong territory. Jesus. Like, even to this day, I get like phantom crawlies in my ear. And what was it? Like, it? like a spider? Like a centipede. Oh my oh, god! That's terrifying. I'd kill myself. Yeah, dude. No, no. Oh I my gosh, die. that's horrible. Have you heard about the story about? Oh the no! Story? If I even if I'm even in the vicinity of a house centipede, doesn't matter what I was doing. I am now in kill house centipede. <laughs> I will mode. move out. Will yeah. Burn the house down and move out. Sorry. Yeah, just, just like all right. Yeah, it's like this is a nice time in this house. Uh, I wish I paid the lease before this had happened, but yeah, that's that's a kind of shit that makes a man cry. (laughs) Yes. What what were you gonna say, Dust? I almost woke my friend up at like six in the morning, like, hey, can you like bring me to the hospital or something? Because there's something (laughs) stuck and I can't get it out. But I got it out, so it's all cool. Everything was good. Fuck, it sucked. Oh. Have you ever like what the there's a news about this woman having something stuck in a bug stuck in her ear, but instead of like pull it, she pulled it out finally, but the bug laid eggs in her ear. Oh, Uh, that's gross. uh, it was. It happened like a few years ago, but it it happened to her, and she is like, not happy whatsoever. Yeah, no. If you just wake be, up and you have I'd thousands be like, of yeah, it's a party. Like, who would be happy? I saw a YouTube video I'm once a, of a uh, grandmother now. Somebody who's used it. Like a doctor was controlling this little camera on a tube into somebody's ear, because uh, they had obviously gone to the doctor to complain about like this feeling and you can see like you're in their ear canal and as they get to a certain point you just see a spider in its eyes and it like backs further into the ear because it gets scared of the the camera oh my god oh my gosh that's horrible i was thinking about irrational fears because i was watching um buzzfeed Buzzfeed unsolved the other day and the guy shane on there 
I don't remember how he brought it up, but he just brought up that he has this really irrational fear of um, being walking down the street and somebody forcing him to do heroin, like running up to him and stabbing him with a heroin needle. And then oh, he's damn. like, fuck, I'm addicted for life now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> damn. What about you? Yeah. I really don't have one single thing. Not one single he's afraid thing. of nothing. I don't know what defies irrational with that. Like, it probably wouldn't happen, but it could Yeah, happen. like, the, like give somebody, like, no stranger's ever gonna walk up to you and fucking jam a heroin needle in your leg in the middle of the street. Like, it could happen, but it's extremely no, unlikely. they're usually saving that for themselves. Yeah. yeah. It's, it, it's possible, but it's never gonna fucking happen, and that's what makes it an irrational fear. Mm, I gotta think about it, then. I can't think of anything right now. Yeah, I'd have to think about it, too. Fuck you, guy. The only thing I can think ah! of is giant spiders. Well, that's definitely possible. I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's a rational fear. I I mean, I can't think of one either. I don't think I have an irrational fear. I had to fear... Fear those bastards. I had to fear when I was uh, a child, when I was watching this um, spider movie. And I don't remember the name of it, but I just remember the end where every spider gets, like, destroyed by lava or whatever, and it turns to stone. Oh, I do have... An irrational fear that you just actually reminded me is um. You could be so fucking kidding me. Volcanoes being near one. You don't even live near one. What? I know, but I have such a fear of <laughs> melting. There's not even a volcano. Okay, there might be one in America. What I don't about know. That Yellowstone one that they're afraid. That's gonna not burn. a volcano. That's a geyser. Okay, well they're afraid that that's gonna erupt. Water. See, it erupts all the time. It erupts hot water. <laughs> oh my god. No, they were afraid that everyone's gonna die. California's gonna die soon. California, just California alone is just gonna die. Yeah. I, I thought of one of my fears, and like maybe this isn't entirely irrational, but I feel that it's a bit irrational. Um, I hate walking past like sharp corners that are at eye level. Like if I'm in a supermarket, mm. for example, and I walk around a corner of a shelf. I'm afraid of walking past shelves that are right at my eye height because I'm afraid that I could like bump into them and hit my eye on them. Oh yeah, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> oh wait, maybe this is a rational fear. Um, so I watch a lot of like Japanese horror shit about bathrooms, and I I would just, I would just imagine myself in the bathroom just one day just minding my own business taking and a shit. And then suddenly you pee in your own mouth. <laughs> sorry, I'm okay, just. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, go on. And like, and like all of a sudden, I would just see like really long black hair, like the next star over, and just keeping like it comes towards me closer and closer. Oh, cause you've seen that, and yeah, Japanese heart is like a lot of long yeah. hair shit. They always have long black hair with a white dress. Fuck, fuck, <laughs> I'm stuck. And irrational face of someone using their phone to just take a picture in the bathroom. I am always scared that I'm gonna look in the mirror and see someone else. Yeah, I. I hate that shit when I knew about um, uh, it. Wait, you mean like see somebody other Bloody than Mary. yourself? Yeah. Bloody like, Mary, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, like Bloody Mary, but not really Bloody Mary. Like, I'm just scared of like looking in the mirror and not seeing myself. Like, I'll see something else or someone else. I like, suppose that's an irrational fear because that wouldn't happen. But I have had that fear. What about like you're like washing your face or whatever and you're looking down and you're looking up at the mirror and then just something appears? Like, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I can't stop thinking about baloney, man. I know what you're talking about. So. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, don't zap me at the... He's gonna stab, zap me. Man. Fucking thing. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. The whole Bloody Mary thing, though, is that if you shut the lights, the lights off and the, and the, the way you say the name three times gives your brain enough time to, like, basically see something that's yeah. not really there. Yeah, it's just not... It's not what you're saying, it's just... It's just the time. Yeah, you, it, it gives you enough time for your nerve endings in your eyes to start to adjust yeah. to the light you partially. You could say Mary Poppins three times. You could just count to five, or, or just sit there and five. stare at the mirror. Eventually, you will in see the partial darkness, you'll, your brain will start to fill in the gaps of what it's not seeing, and it makes a mm. really freaky, distorted image of yourself. I have done it, and it is weird. I've never done it, but now I kind of want to. But I love Bloody Marys. Bloody oh, Marys Bloody are pretty Marys good. Are good. I want a Bloody Mary now. I want a bloody asshole. No, oh my god! <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Stop talking! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. I had to. <laughs> There's so many things you could have said that weren't that. I know, I had to. Like a bloody steak. Or. <laughs> <laughs> I want a, 
a person named Mary who just had his had sex for the first time, so it's a bloody Mary. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> you guys, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we get dangerously off topic sometimes. <laughs> Have you ever shoved How your toe up your so ass? Many gems? <laughs> what? Have you ever accidentally shoved your own toe up your ass? That, no. That's a uh, how achievement. How would you do that? Yeah, how would you do that? You Are you telling like me really you've done that? Leg and like. <laughs> You can be very like. I really like. You have to be able to like you turn flex. your foot like all you the way around. You be flexible. To jam your toe into your at. You be flexible. Like... You be flexible. Have you ever sat on your own balls? I hate that. Oh, that's the worst. Or what about um? Oh my god. Ooh. Okay, I found the way to the rest of the. Do you guys' dicks float in the water? Yes, dicks float. It's hilarious. I hate when you're. <laughs> you need like a little like t uh, swimming tube. I hate when you poop and it like splashes and hits your balls. I gotta go do the other thing. <laughs> oh my God. So, like, he's like, I'm, I'm leaving. He's like, no way, I'm gonna try that. I hate when you poop and it plops and it splashes right back into your bottle. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking of that. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's just a bad time. It's just a bad time. You're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> Ah, oh, fuck my ass, oh. hole. <laughs> fuck it. I had the worst diarrhea today. I had <laughs> diarrhea today, too. Why are we talking about this? Oh you know alcohol gives you diarrhea? I know. <laughs> I love diarrhea. What? <laughs> Said no one now, ever. This is now a, uh, a dietary diarrhea. experience for us all. So, that's, uh, this is a digestive yeah, I mean, experience. Up for a while, they'd, exactly. they'd probably be like a blessing. No, no, I, I usually <laughs> like diarrhea. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I, kidding, I have food I coming. <laughs> I'll, I'll, stop, I'll stop when the food comes. I'll stop when the food comes. <laughs> but until then... But like I'm saying, I like like having diarrhea because it like gets everything out. But I hate this. it when... Can I take a straight from there? Yeah, yeah, okay, that's what I, you're doing. Work it was feels cleansing. No, work mm. was almost over. I had like yes. five minutes left. Yes. But I have, ha I needed to take a shit because yeah. that's a major diarrhea. Those horrible poop pains. But oh you also God. had to like leave. Yeah. <laughs> Work so sucked today. So I better to, like, just take a good shit. That tastes really like, good. Like, what is that? Dragonberry. What about Ooh. like when you're it's driving? Best flavor in my opinion. Yeah, that's when you're driving and you get favorite. those yeah. things. Oh my God. Yeah, my favorite thing to do is I get a hot coffee before I go into work, <laughs> and I go in before the restaurant opens. So right before we open, it's about the time everywhere. that I have to, you know, I gotta, you know, take care of business. <laughs> yes. So I go in there and I destroy that bathroom for some <laughs> yes. poor unfortunate soul who's about to hop in there after me. There's always a line when I do it too. It's never like I can just oh get out God. and like. I, I always have to have like the shameful look on my face. Like, there's always like some old man or like some like three year old or something like in line like right after me. Yes. I like, hate when like you ever go in a bathroom and then you go in there and some somebody like peed all over the seat yeah. or somebody just wrecked oh, the bathroom. Yeah. And then you avoid it, though, and you use the bathroom normally. But then you get out and somebody goes in after you and you're like, well, that person yeah. thinks that was me now. Mm -hmm. But what if the person before you did the same thing you just did and it wasn't them either? And they just have no shame. But well, I mean, if I'm taking a shit, I'm going to wipe off the seat before. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Whoa. One time. Nice catch. Good save. I was Damn. at work and uh, Ginkgo was actually, me and him both had to use the bathroom. So he went in the men's room and I went in the ladies room. But right before I went in the ladies room, there was already someone in there. There was this uh, crazy lady we used to work with and she was like, she comes out of the bathroom. She's like, it's all yours. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, I go uh -huh. in there. There's toilet paper all over the floor. Oh, God. There's still shit in the toilet. Oh, like, no. And her hair is all in the sink because she brushes her hair before she goes into work. <laughs> oh, my God. It was horrifying. I came out and told Ginkle all about it. And he was just like, oh, yeah, that happens. <laughs> You're making me remember that crazy guy we worked with, too. He, he oh. was... He was like, uh, I, I can't remember how we started talking about it, but, um, oh no, I brought like bleach in the bathroom with me. He's like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm cleaning off the toilet seat before I use it. Cause it's fucking disgusting. And he's like, no, you don't do that. You just use your underwear. And yeah, I, was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, that's what underwear's for. You pull your tidy whities off yeah. and you just sit on them. Yeah. What? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> 
<laughs> Where do I go? All right. I, mean, I guess that's one way to do it. I can't even. Next time but on Dungeons and Drinks. Changes his socks eight times a day. Yeah, that's true. I don't know where the fuck to go right now. There'll be like a ton of people lining up to get uh, like. Oh, here we go. To get yep. their orders there ready. And Thank you. In the, in the back, just changing the socks. Yep. Next time on Dungeons and Drinks, probably two more levels of Spyro. And pigfish? we finish this thing off. No, that's the um the pizza burger that Taki ordered. No, it's a pigfish. It's sushi pizza burger taco fish. Sushi pizza taco burger fish. <laughs> <laughs>